All right, what's up, YouTube? It's another day. I'm already running late. If you know me, I'm always going down to like the last one minute to like do stuff. So, of course, like I said, I'm behind schedule. So I got to load up all the parts, bring all the parts for uh, the Alta to get powder coated. I got to take out the swing arm really fast, take out the chain slider and all those little clips. Should be good to go to uh, head off to the powder coaters. It's like 20 minutes, so I mean, it's not too bad. But uh, so I'm running late. Uh, I got this thing all cracked loose. I didn't know, for some reason, I don't know where I read if it was reverse threads, but it wasn't. Lefty loosey righty tidy, so this thing's coming off smooth. Quickly get this going. All right, all the parts are loaded, and uh, we should be good to go. Had to still take a bunch of stuff apart. It's 3.20, I was supposed to be there at 3.30. Great. It's in a random building in the middle of nowhere in downtown. We pulled in, I'm like, is this the right place? It was a little sketchy, but we're good. We'll lock the truck or anything. If it comes out, somebody stole the truck. That'd be a really bad day. Uh-oh. They got him coughed and everything. Dang. Coughed and everything. He was on a bicycle. I know, they got him, dude. <laughs> they got him. Big power. Back to Ryan's house, looks like he, uh, what, you got new wheels for the truck? Right? I thought you ordered tires too. I did. This is a good product placement for your clapped key tags. If you want a clapped key tag, check it out. Links down below in the description. Get yours for uh, Christmas if you want it. <laughs> I didn't even know Ryan was getting wheels. They all black. Oh. Those are pretty cool. Yeah, those are pretty cool. It's about a, what, four inch lip, roughly. Almost the same as the hostiles. Too bad they're not mine. Roughly, yeah, too, ba too bad they're actually not his, they're his dad's. Here's so. we're supposed to come on it. Things are pretty fancy. I guess Ryan wants to take his sled um, to the shop, so we're getting it all loaded in the trailer. He said he's gonna mess around on the pit bike track on his sled and his brother's sled, so we'll get some more sled content. There, you get on and I'll... Alright, she's good to go. Is that your spud in track? Oh, Josh. Josh's. Oh, it's all slush. What, are you throwing that track out? No, I'm just gonna sell it. That's how a much, nice how track. How much they go for, like 100 bucks? Yeah, probably. 150 sure. maybe? Man, we need like a, a level hitch, not a two inch up hitch. That trailer's a little tall for that 150. That's all you had, huh? What? Sorry, that's all you had, a two inch up hitch? I've had for your truck the whole entire time. Yeah, I know, we gotta fix it. <laughs> we gotta fix it. Well, yeah, It'd probably be, drive better. This is gonna be the snowmobile This truck is not right the, here. the snowmobile puller. Your F-250 is the snowmobile puller. Oh, no, no, no. no. Uh, this isn't getting taken on the snowmobile trip. This I, is definitely going to Old Forge. I'll tell you that right now. If it's cold there, we're taking this, because my, my the diesel, it's the it's gonna gel up. The diesel, you just gotta let it warm up for like an hour. It's, I don't want the fuel to gel up. Uh, if it's below zero, no, we're good. We're, we're taking running. this one. The eco boost. I don't know, dude. Pulling three sleds. <laughs> you always. Yeah, I'm gonna let it run. Just leave it here. I wouldn't even bother. Yeah, I'm gonna let it run. You're not gonna let it run for an hour. Ryan's thinking about skipping it and just riding his brother's sled since he doesn't want to get his sled dirty, huh? This one will sound way better than the stock one. You know. Nice unit, brand new track too and everything. What was the point of warming it up and then be like, nah, I don't think I'll ride it. I don't think I'll ride it, he might get mad. Party cat over here needs a little maintenance, huh? What's wrong with it? Shock maintenance? The shocks just got rebuilt. Oh, they did? What are they, shots still? Huh. Calls his brother and everything to make sure he's not coming here or if he's not close or anything so he can ride it. Stuck 
man. Yo, this race is over. It's fun. too long. Really not that much snow to be doing this. There's even grass spots right here. There's a couple little snow spots. You gonna hit them or what? They're small. This one looks perfect. That one, it doesn't have a big lift. Do the first one, slam on your brakes. That's it. That's your best bet. <laughs> what are you doing? God, snowmobile goon riding 101. I, I had to throttle this far. No kidding, for like a three foot jump, you gave it like enough throttle for like a 20 foot jump. <laughs> Dude, that second one's smaller. Yeah, you got it up a little bit on the second little yeah. bump. Get the second bump. Yeah, I will. You good? Yeah, it is. I can actually like ride it. Yeah. Uh oh, garage door's opening. I think he's gonna take the, the bad boy out, the race sled out. <laughs> Stealing his sled right now. I put the track on, it's only fair. You did put the track on? Did you get a test ride when you put the track on? Yeah, that's it. Josh, you watching this? Josh, he's not sorry. Shout out to Josh Griffin. <laughs> Shout out to Josh for letting him His rip Instagram the sled. The His Instagram will be on the screen right here. Check him out. That thing's so sick. It sounds way better than both of ours. Way better. Josh, I will not take it in the mud just that one. <laughs> Tearing up the grass. Yeah, I think he's done. Three inches of snow for and put away. What were you saying? You think it what? I think the dude wheelies better. You think the skidoo does wheelies better? Really? This one sounds better though. Way better. Way better. 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 Yeah. Whiteout is pretty sick. But shout out to Josh for letting Ryan ride the, the sled of. <laughs> Josh being laying in bed late at night and I'm yeah. to go. Ryan, what the f? When he's, watching, watching, when he's right? watching the vlog on Sunday. <laughs> Alright, I'll actually help Josh out. If you want to check out Josh, but, uh, it's Ryan's older brother. It'll be on the screen right here for like. A half a second. There you go. Dude, I think the game plan is to take out the little TRX back there. That thing's sick. Andrew Vieira stowing his dirty boat in here. Dot by and threw it in here. No, it's green tech. Let's whip the Kubota, honestly. Man, listen to that thing. I don't know what he's trying to do. He's gotta get to the trailer. Good enough. We ever get it sorted? Get all three in here. Gotta, uh, move some stuff around. Got to move everything out pretty much in order to back the trailer in here. Move the boat. I think Ryan just picked up an X Games bike, ready to uh, ready to shred it up. Oh man, Ryan, you got your own casting couch, huh? Right in the shop, man. Oh, all right, finally everything's put back away. Ready for uh, whenever it has to get taken out again. Go close his gate. His toolbox is gonna fall out. <laughs> we don't know this guy, by the way. His tailgate just happens to be down. Go! What are you doing? Do it! Are you kidding? I can't do Dude, it. Dude, are you kidding? I can't do it. Oh! Now that guy's gonna lose his tools. If he's got all because of you. Reason. All because of you. He's got it down. You could have just went up to the window and be like, hey, you know your tailgate's down. Yeah, I know. I was it gonna happened. do that and then I saw the lights turn green. I was Dude! Like, oh. Just probably ruined that guy's day. I feel like he knows that it's not. When we were driving down the freeway, this guy's tailgate was wide open. It was about to come out and we go up next to him. We were like pointing at the tailgate and he, his eyes lit up and he just pulled right over and shut the gate. Should have done it. Walmart, I need a podcast table. Found this other steal of a heater, huh? $20? $20. Says it, it heats your garage. Oh, that's the Spanish we'll, side. we'll put it to the test as soon as I get home Workshop because heater. all the other tiers suck. I don't know why a cheaper heater would be a better option, but give it a shot. Oh, I'm with this ripstick because toys are always better in the store. I'm goofy, yeah. Really? Yeah, I'm goofy. All right, here's the guy, six foot black table. Do for the podcast temporarily. Pick it up. People of the podcast don't want to see a scratch table, you know? We had to test the heater out in the store too. It's good to go. It's got a package in. It says it's from Sweden, as you can see right there. I didn't order anything from Sweden. I guess we'll see what's in this thing. Well, I thought it was going to be more exciting, but it's just uh, 
Number plate sticker. Moto dude stickers. That was a bunch of excitement for no reason. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that little chilled vlog with the snowmobiles. It wasn't planned, I just kind of filmed as I went throughout the day. If you guys want to see more of that, more just kind of vlogs, like say in the month of December. If for example, if I'm not doing something necessarily entirely dirt bike related, would you want to see some vlogs? Stuff like that, let me know in the comments. As far as snowmobiles, I'm getting more and more excited as uh, it's getting closer to hopefully getting more snow. But uh, I still have to do some stuff with the sled, like I said in last video. I gotta install that 12 volt, get the little bag so I can just run the wire up in here and have a little bag for say, uh, like my phone to charge, the GoPro batteries, camera batteries, that whole deal. And then I still gotta get a whole run over, make sure everything's good on it. And then um, it should be good to go. I can't really think of anything else I really have to do to it. Um, I might get some, I might order up uh, LED bulbs for the headlights that brighter. Can't really hurt to have it brighter and to see more. So probably order up some bulbs if I can find it on Amazon. And like somebody said, I don't think I'm gonna bother to, it kind of would defeat the purpose to get brighter bulbs and then tint the actual headlight itself. It'll look cool, but I don't know. I might change my mind. I might not, but I'm definitely probably gonna tint this. That way you won't see it as much when I put the bag in here. It won't kind of stand out bad. So that's the plan with that. And then other than that, I'm gonna ride the thing, have fun on it. Um, all the Ulta parts, like I said, got dropped off at Powder Coat. That'll be probably a week or so. Josh is finishing up on the Cerakote, up off the forks to actually get them taken apart because he doesn't have the specific tool for it. Those are getting taken apart and then he's gonna Cerakote the fork tubes. I'd have him Cerakote the fork tubes. That way I don't have to ship it out and wait even longer possibly for those to get um, coated. And then other than that, the Ulta, hopefully two plans should be back together by about December 15th or so by the time I get all the parts in if I order them on Sunday. So that's a work in progress as any build is, but I'm gonna cap this video off here. Like I said, let me know what you wanna see. Hit the subscribe button if you're new, if you wanna see more snowmobile videos, dirt bike videos, pit bike videos. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, at Tyler Monaghan, if you wanna see what goes on before the vlogs actually come out. So off of that, like I said, subscribe if you're new, smash that thumbs up button, share with your friends, and I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video.